Hi, Jim and I. Welcome to your November 2017 General Tarot Forecast. It's Raina here. So I am starting over again. That's why the cards are laid out. Uh, before I begin, I just want to reiterate that this is a general focus. If you're interested in the love reading, I have that already up on my channel, so check that out. And I also do astrological readings for each sign. I had to take down yours today, but I will be putting it up again. I guess it didn't fully transfer, and so it got cut off, so I'm going to be re-upping that one. And if you'd like a personal reading, please visit me at rainamoonastrology.com. The link will be below for that. And um, as the heart of the matter in November, we have a card, the Nine of Pentacles, that speaks of relying on yourself financially, okay? And this can be for many reasons. I did note when I did this the first time around that the death card can usually doesn't point to physical death of somebody close to you, but in this particular case, it might be that somebody close to you has died and you are now living alone, but you're living in an affluent state. You're not living in an impoverished state. You're living in an affluent state. Um, the other thing about this is it could be a relationship that has ended where you were sharing resources and now you're alone. But it's a very positive card because there is a sense of self-esteem. It's interesting because I'm thinking to the second house of earned income that Taurus rules, that, that Venus rules. And it's about money that you earn as well as your self-esteem. And in this case, I would kind of go along with that same idea, that your self-esteem is reflected in your financial independence in some way. You are able to get away. So that would be specifically if you were able to get away from a demeaning or, you know, that type of relationship, a demean, and that could be a work situation. The nine of pentacles can indicate that you're self-employed now. And what is the current energy is represented by the page of swords. So um, you may be researching something, perhaps you are looking to start your own business or you already have your own business and you're you're doing a lot of um, research you may be also keeping tabs on others if you have left a relationship you may still be kind of seeing if this person is trying to get back in your life um, you know kind of being vigilant to make sure that you don't uh, get sucked into another round of uh, relationship with this person and being very very aware of what is going on but it's also just a card of you being in a position where you are you may receive a message of some sort that uh, pertains to your new life maybe it's some kind of um, legal thing oh yeah you know what I didn't even think about this Duh. I mean, this could be something with an estate. I should have thought about that. That death, you know, that you that there was some kind of a, an inheritance. And uh, this card, as a higher message, talks about fairness. So whether or not it actually comes to pass, it's about maybe looking for that kind of fairness in the outcome of the situation. If you are waiting for an inheritance, are there other parties involved who want you to accept less than you deserve or you feel you deserve? And if you have left a job, are they trying to cheat you in some way? Even in, in like a new, if you're working for yourself, you may be thinking, how do I set prices? How do I do this? How do I do that? What's fair? Because this is like an equal exchange, and you may be thinking about it on your end as well. 
because it's a spiritual position, it's looking at it from a higher level. And I find that, especially if you're working for yourself, it's very important to consider the, the people that you're serving. If you just think about your own best interests all the time and you're not thinking about the people you're serving, then to me, it's like you're doing a disservice to others. Um, and it's not really, it's, it's more of a greed than something that is coming from your heart. Okay. And I think when you work for yourself, it has to come from the heart. That's just my opinion. The challenge card is the five of pentacles. I would say even in the upright position, this is the real challenge. Um, so this is a card of poverty consciousness, lack consciousness. And, um, I think that, you know, with Gemini, because you're an air sign, you may find it hard to really connect with material things. That may seem very abstract to you, <laughs> ironically, because you're abstract. So um, you have to make sure that you are grounded, that you are looking at life from the practical point of view as well. I could see somebody who's a Gemini not being, being kind of careless about money situations and, and not really researching. You know, the Page of Swords is about researching things. Really, it's good to research and make sure when you, when you have to spend money on things that are significant amounts that you are doing your homework. I find sometimes that people that have a lack consciousness are penny wise and pound foolish. And so they are cutting corners with things that don't matter and then ending up paying through the nose. So it's, um, it's really also the law of attraction, understanding how, how you attract things to you. You may be someone who has just gotten a lump sum of money if you have an inheritance and yet you're still in this state where you can't really feel a sense of, of security. And it has nothing to do with the amount of money you have in the bank. It has to do with your consciousness. There may be an earth sign individual. Maybe this was the past relationship who tries to get back into your life. And you know that the relationship is indeed over and you don't want to go back to them but maybe they are trying to make you feel guilty, you know, manipulate you into taking them back. And so that could present a challenge. The advice of what's coming in, I think this is the near future. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I think that if, if you're looking at this from relationship issues, this card connects with the planet Jupiter and Jupiter is now in Scorpio. So, but, but what I was trying to say, I should have you know, qualified this. Um, it was in Libra, and that was your fifth house of romance. So now it's actually in the work sector. But the results of that Jupiter transit in, in Libra may have meant that something was put into motion where you had, maybe you interacted with, multiple people within the last year and somebody from that that um, time period is coming back into your life. Maybe this is someone who is a Scorpio. I mean a, a Sagittarius. But the other thing too is that this may be just saying that you're going to be on a winning streak, a lucky streak. And you do have a full moon which is happening um, at the end of this year, on December 3rd. So that might be a time when you want to just change things in your life. That's always possible. And you may just kind of like um, let go of something. But the outcome is 
the Three of Pentacles. This is a card of building something from the ground up. And this could be a business that sees you through the next 30 years. I was thinking in terms of Saturn, a Saturn cycle. And this past two and a, two and a half years, you've had a half cycle of Saturn where it's been at your halfway mark. And um, so how far have you come in the last 15 years? This card is about maybe you're starting something fairly recently and it's really um, going to provide uh, for you financially for years to come. Even a relationship could be part of that. And you may have an experience where somebody that you meet now or have met within the last year turns out to be the person that is going to be with you for the rest of your life. I sometimes like to look at uh, the Wikipedia pages of, of famous you know, celebrities who have died, and it's amazing how many of them may be married like four times, but the last marriage lasts until they die. Well, unless, you know, they just got married like three years ago. But in other words, it took them multiple people before they found their soulmate or at least somebody that was more compatible with them. And you may have uh, hit the jackpot in the last year, but you're definitely having, with um, the Wheel of Fortune, you're having a lot of alignment with your, your life at this time, or in the near future, I should say. Okay, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great month. Bye.